Hello and welcome to today's 2pm checkup. My name is Marika and today is Friday. Um, I just had double lecture with my favourite professor, uh, Professor Dr. John Dylan Haynes. And yeah, so it was extra interesting on um, free will and volition and also on brain reading, but I still have some big questions about how feasible something such as brain reading is given the fact that we have 86 billion neurons and um, as we all encode our different memories we certainly encode things differently so if we were to be able to make brain reading something um, feasible in the future I guess we would need to have individualized algorithms for each person um, because it's not just different ways of encoding things but I feel like we all have different ways of thinking um, as well and that's not necessarily taken into account when we do things um, different studies and um, you know even uh, things like the fact that some people don't have an internal dialogue um, so when they read as an example they don't uh, re you know reading along in your head normally you have your own voice um, reading along too or even just when you're internalizing thoughts and thinking through things usually you know most people have that internal dialogue but there are people who don't and there are also people who can't actually um, picture things like have mental images and I feel like when we do studies and things like that that we don't actually ask for these um, ask these questions and this could affect the results and so I mean I guess it's something that I can write one of my papers on um, but it is something that I think is a real shortcoming in you know neuroscience and psychology today and something that we need to think about and fix so um, yeah so that's what I've been thinking about so far today and yeah I always find that when I'm learning um, things are you know so much better my brain is being put to good use uh, and I don't have time to think about things that you know I shouldn't be so yeah this afternoon I still have um, a class called memory in the brain so we've been working a lot on working memory um, and then I've got an ethics class and um, so yeah so I'm pretty busy for the rest of the day and the weather is beautiful so I'm gonna get a coffee and then do some readings and then hit class and yeah that'll be my Friday and then I'm basically looking forward to a pretty easy weekend um, yeah so at the moment given the start of my week where I was pretty down and couldn't even string a sentence um, I think we're going pretty well and uh, yeah I've managed to turn it around so yeah anyway thank you all for listening